In this Wolf video, I'm going to explain the use of practice search to create a list of active patients for a provider. So starting off on the practice search screen, the first thing that we're going to want to do is name our search up at the top here. So we're going to call this panel list McCaffrey. And you can make as many of these for your physicians as you need, one for each physician if you like. Click off at the top, search all patients. Sometimes this is configured in clinics to be defaulted this way, but just ensure that it is clicked. We're gonna leave this area alone because we want everyone to be included. We don't wanna define anybody or exclude anybody from this, uh, from the demographics area at all. We are not going to be pulling up anybody who is deceased on this list, and we are only looking for active patients only. So patients who are left practice or who are actually uh, have a status that say inactive would not be included in this list. So the first filter that we want to add is under demographics and that will be primary MD. And we're going to select Dr. McCaffrey as this is the list that we're wanting to get is for her. And right up the top here, you'll want to select search button. Okay, so this is going to spit you out a list and a couple things to notice is at the very bottom you'll see there are 434 patients on this particular list. That means in this EMR, these are the people who are um, assigned to Dr. McCaffrey and have them as their primary MD. Now these, these columns up at the top are sortable just like they would be in an excel spreadsheet okay you'll notice that everything here is alphabetical so you can sort sort by by gender if you wish they can put all the males and females together if you wanted to however the more useful ones is age for example so if you just click on the column at the top you'll see that it will sort it in ascending order and it will start off with an age of any well obviously like maybe babies, <laughs> something around those ages, all the way up to in people in their hundreds. And where this is uh, sort of useful is that if you look at this and say, oh, this patient's age is zero. So maybe that's an age we should maybe add to their demographic screen and, and find out what that is. If we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll notice that there's a few patients here who are well over 100 years old. So in terms of panel cleanup, this would be a really great thing to check in on these charts uh, and just see if, um, if everyone um, is still with us or if they need to be marked as deceased. Another column you can actually look at uh, sorting would be your last visit column. So if I click on last visit at the top, uh, a couple things you'll notice is that for a whole bunch of people here, we don't actually have a last visit date in this column. And sometimes that can be an indicator of data, data that has been migrated from another system. And it means that they've actually never had a visit in this clinic. So this might be patients on this particular list that could be possibly inactivated, uh, depending on how long it's been since you've had this clinic. If you've been there five years, then you know these people haven't seen you in greater than five years. They may need to be inactivated. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that they're all in order of date. Okay, now most clinics consider their panel of patients being anybody seen within the last three years. And so uh, what you can see here is you have some people here from 2008, 2009. So it, again, in terms of panel clinic, you could probably eliminate or inactivate uh, the patients who haven't been seen in greater than three years. And so these are patients you can go into their chart and you can actually mark them off as being inactive or left practice. Okay, if you wanted to do that, you can manage the list right from here. You don't have to print it out. If you double click on any single name, it will bring you to that patient to that patient's chart. And you can make your updates to their chart as you need to. Once you've made the change to the person's chart, then once you run the list again, the patient will fall off that list. And that is how you would use the practice search to get a list of active patients for a provider.